In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about digital learning and teaching communities. It's quite easy to feel overwhelmed by digital spaces and communities. There are just so many places where you could be online just now. Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, the list goes on and on. You might also want to separate your teaching identity from a more personal interaction in some of these spaces as well. But being engaged in online communities can be really important for your own professional practice. I know in terms of my own working life that my personal learning network has really grown and has really enriched my own practice. So I am quite active on a number of areas, particularly Twitter. In fact, Twitter is almost like my go-to workplace just now. But over the years, I've kind of learned to manage my engagement within that community. So I try not to look at Twitter at night and at the weekend. At that point, I might be more inclined to go on to Instagram because that's a more personal space for me. But the interaction I've had and the connections I've made with my wider communities have been really, really important to me. They've made me part of a global community of learning, and that's really important as well. I've been able to share my own research, develop my own notion of scholarship and scholarly practice through my interaction in digital spaces. I think that's really important for us all to think about just now. When we're doing that, we're not only helping ourselves and our own staff development and our own personal development, we can also be modelling practice for our students as well. And we can be advising our students on what kind of communities they should be engaging with as part of their own development as well. So thinking about digital communities outside of the institution is really, really important to do. Now, where do you start with that? Well, in terms of learning and teaching, there's a great tweet chat on a Wednesday night called LTHE Chat, and they discuss a huge range of issues relating to teaching practice. Really, really interesting to go in and observe and engage with, but also just to learn about how you can actually use social media as a really positive engagement activity. So think about learning communities, think about where and how you engage inside and outside the institution.